Hey, it's Andreas, and let's talk about the question here in the title regarding inflation and mortgage rates and the connection between them. Now, I found this question here originally on Reddit. It's a great beginner question. Hopefully you search for answers on YouTube and well, you found me. So let's serve up some value. All right. I will start off by reading the full question here and you can skip forward to the answer if you want that. Otherwise, just relax and let's get through this. All right, so what happens to mortgage rates when inflation disappears? If it is inflation that causes mortgage rates to rise, does that mean that the interest rates will fall when inflation disappears again, or will high interest rates remain to keep inflation out? Another question too, how long can high inflation last? How long is this likely to last? <laughs> Sorry if my questions are stupid, I'm not well versed in this at all. No worries, my friend, we all start somewhere. And regarding what happens to mortgage rates when inflation disappears, we don't know this. And I think that this question originates in a worry about his mortgage rate. What will happen with this whole inflation thing? And is this the cause of his loan being more expensive? We've seen interest rates go up all around the economy and just to answer this question and then talk about underlying things more later on yes inflation could is part of interest rates going up totally and this is because in monetary policy one of the tools that authorities have is that they raise interest rates to combat inflation all right Traditionally, this is more tied, interest rate is more tied to how the economy is performing. So if we have a booming economy, then the monetary policy, the textbook stuff tells authorities to increase rates to make it less of a big boom, all right? Just cooling the economy, all right? We don't want the old era style with risks of bigger depressions right this has real life implications on a lot of human lives so we try to mellow out the booms and busts in monetary policy and likewise when we're in a recession then the central bank would decrease rates historically just to lubricate things make it easier to invest lend consume all of that great stuff all right and this is the first time in history we've had a booming economy where interest rates were kept so so low in negative territory even and it would be super interesting from the study of economics to follow along and see what will happen here when we hit more of a recession in the economy how will things recover how has this great experiment that's been played out on a global scale developed? All right, so if it is inflation that causes mortgage rates to rise, does that mean that interest rates will fall when inflation disappears again? Not necessarily. As I just explained, it's more tied to the economy. But indeed, in this case, rising interest rates is one way to combat inflation. Or will high inflation rates remain to keep inflation out? Once again, not necessarily. Don't worry, we will get into the real cause behind this question. I think that what this Redditor really wants to know is what will happen with his mortgage rate. Will it go back low again? And I will explain the formula so you can think for yourself after this last question here. So how long can high inflation last? How long is this likely to last? Well, if I knew that, I would be a billionaire already in a big beach house in Colombia somewhere from all of the trades, leverage trades I would have made on bonds. This is super hard to know, but just to comment on this real quickly, inflation is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we believe that inflation is here to stay, it's going to be high. As employees, we will ask for more salary from companies. This will drive up expenses. And since companies also expect high inflation, they will prematurely rise the price of their goods and services. And this in turn will make employees feel like, well, my salary doesn't last. And they will ask for even more money. And this is a vicious spiral 
all right. And um, it's not a stupid question. As I said, we all start somewhere. But regarding this formula, let me explain how mortgage rates work. So on one side of the equation, you have your loan, the interest rate that you get. And then on the other side, we have the rate that the bank can get the capital, the cost of capital, you can call it. It could be from deposits or it could be from a central bank. And then we add to that the risk because you, my dear friend, you're a risk to the bank. And if you're rich, you're a small risk. And if you're poor, you're a big risk. And that's why rich people get phenomenal interest rates on their loans and poor people, well, they get a higher interest rate on their loan. And I used to sell loans to private banking customers back in 2015. And I remember the flexible rate for some of the wealthiest private banking clients, even back then being below 8%. This was before we had negative interest rates, remember? And also some corporations where employees are paid well, make a lot of money, will make a special deal with the bank to get lower interest rates for their employees. This is also something that we see out there. So get motivated, get out there, make a ton of money. As always, I hope you make a ton of money from whatever investments you decide to make. That's been it for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.